Brian West, joined right now in studio by Max from Arkells. What's going on, man? You know, just in the neighborhood. I wanted to go for a walk on this rainy-ass day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for popping in for some shelter. Hey, my <laughs> pleasure. Mike, actually, my guitar player, he dropped me off. So, yeah, I was like, Mike, I need a lift over to Y108. Yeah. Oh, he should have come up with you. Uh, he, he's actually got to go shopping for his girlfriend. It's uh, Molly's birthday tomorrow, and he's he hasn't got a gift yet. So Not bad. It's still day before, not day of. Yeah, that's, so that's true. Uh, it could be like, you know, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, 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 and he's scrambling. Uh, well, I appreciate you coming in because I know uh, you probably want some rest because it's been like a busy week i would saw you at every juno event yeah they you guys the work there. yeah you know we we got lucky with the nominations and and the performance so uh we figured let's make the most of uh of our time especially and, being here in hamilton right? yeah yeah it was easy too you know in between events i go home and nap which was convenient <laughs> uh yeah no it was great but you know last week we had it mostly off after the junos and i watched a lot of march madness college basketball yeah. it was it was actually pretty glorious did you um did you watch the Junos after because you were there and playing in it? Did you want to watch it back and see what it looked like? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a few friends PVR, so I went over to their place. And uh, yeah, we were really happy with the way it all turned out. You know, it's one thing, f- like, I, we found that your perception of anything when you're on stage isn't necessarily how everyone else perceives it. And, so, and sometimes like, the shows you think go terribly are the ones that some people like the best and vice versa. Mm. Uh, and so, you know, the, it being on TV, it was also like, okay, it felt good on stage let's see how it looked and i think the, uh, the production team did a really killer job with the show and we were really happy with the way it turned out what was it like playing in the, in the arena like that because uh, you know you mentioned and a lot of the guys that i talked to on the red carpet mentioned this is new for us playing in an arena like this size yeah no definitely i mean we've done a few arena shows like we opened the tragically hip so we, we yeah but that was a couple years ago yeah so it's definitely a little different than the clubs that we're used to um but it's cool yeah you kind of just got to remind yourself to look up because you know you see the sea of people in front of you but then there's a you know, a whole crowd of people up in the upper section that you want to engage. So you kind of got to look up and give them some love too. It was so cool to have, uh, you know, not only you guys play, but then be nominated and win as well yeah. here at home. Yeah, we got incredibly lucky. We, we got some hometown judges uh, in our favor. It was like figure skating. It was like no. the Russian judges or whatever. <laughs> Don't be so humble. That's awesome, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was, we were all very thrilled, obviously, with the way it turned out. How many uh, how many Junos do you get? Like when you're in a band and there's a bunch of you, uh, do you get each get one or does the band get yeah, one? Yeah, no, no, they each, we each get one. So, uh, yeah, I got four now, which is <laughs> kind of insane. Where are they? What do you do with uh, them? Well, the two from this year haven't showed up yet. They, they'll mail it to us or whatever. The ones they hand you are fake, like or like they just are like the prop ones. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, one of the, so I have two then uh, currently, and one's at my parents' house. Uh it's my old roommate, uh, Sean. His mom is uh, like a elementary school teacher, and she asked if she could borrow it to show her kids. And that was two years ago. And I sorry, I lent, and she still has it. I <laughs> you think, haven't got it back. I haven't got it back. Uh, Patty Dawson, if you're listening, uh, <laughs> I'd like my Juno back. Actually, last time I saw it, uh, she sent a photo of it. Uh, they summer in Prince Edward Island, and they brought it with them to, to PEI. So I, it oh, that might was like still, a good luck charm? Or I don't know it? why, to be honest. <laughs> but it might be in PEI right now. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm sure I'll find it one day. It's uh, Max from Arkells in studio. Oh, he, you know what? This is what I'm going to ask you right now, because Max from Arkells. Some people say the Arkells. Mm-hmm. Some people say Arkells. What is the real way to say uh, the name of the well, band? Well, I don't know because uh, if okay, I can tell you on the marquee, it should just say Arkells. So if like someone's like putting like, hey, the Ar- the Arkells are coming down, like, Arkells coming to town. But when you're speaking, it sounds fine to say the in front of it. Both kind of work. So whatever you want, whatever yeah. comes out. Yeah, but if you're putting up like uh, an ad mat in a magazine or whatever, just Arkells is how we prefer. <laughs> All right. Now we know. Um, we're going to play the new song coming up next, a new single. It's a cool track. It's a cool video as well. We're going to talk about uh, where the money is going from that. Speaking of concerts, though, and playing in arenas and stuff, what is still on your concert bucket list? What band or artist for you personally to see? Oh, boy. Is there someone you haven't seen yet? Yeah, I've never seen McCartney live. Oh, uh, yeah. And I think that's got, you know, he's like my favorite. Or the Beatles are my favorite. So um, I'd love to see McCartney. Uh, I'd love to see... Kanye too, McCartney and Kanye, and they did a song together. So they maybe th- maybe we'll be together one day. Maybe they will. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of, of uh, you know Kanye being so outspoken about oh, who should get awards and who shouldn't get awards? Like when Beck won the Grammys. Uh, yeah, I think it's funny. I, I don't know why anybody gets offended by it anymore. It's like I think his place in the culture is to say outrageous things. <laughs> so it's like 
don't actually take them seriously. Just appreciate that he's the outrageous guy at the party. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, no, no, he's you know just the guy. A... He's that's his job in in popular culture, just to say outrageous things. So don't take it personally, because as soon as anybody starts like taking his words really seriously, then people can get upset. But don't do that. Just appreciate for the loudmouth that he is, <laughs> and that that's how I appreciate him. And that's a good way to look at yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Max is here from Arkells, and uh, coming up next, we're gonna play the song. It's called Hey Kids. There's a cool video for it as well, and uh, it is. Gonna to be the 420 song of the day here uh, coming up next on Why 108.